What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Thursday, January 6, 2022 date, about 12.42 p.m. California time. Latest quake, a 3.1 earthquake uh, in the Puerto Rico area. I can see that 3.1 on the green flag. Pretty shallow earthquake there at seven kilometers. Also notice on the live seismograph stations over here on the uh, bottom left side of the screen, some more movement coming into the Northern California area. Uh, it's gonna be after this station right here. This is Petrolia. Uh, notice the earthquakes coming in there, some local uh, well distinct earthquake signatures on that seismograph station there in, in Petrolia. It's kind of been like that uh, most of the morning. And uh, once again, no earthquake activity uh, being reported by the USGS on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Uh, so there's definitely activity kicking up, folks. We'll go ahead and check out the uh, movement here on the map. Uh, of course, EMSC, if I were to choose the EMSC model, uh, those folks there would not be showing that activity either in Northern California unless it's above the uh, 4.5 th or 4.0 threshold that they use. Uh, looks like the, the only one they did include was the 4.6 from last night. But, uh, you know, don't have too many sources when it comes to showing all the earthquake activity out here. So kind of just got to go with the flow when it comes to the uh, USGS and their lack of reporting the earthquake activity. So over the last uh, 24 hours, yes, we have seen some earthquake activity kicking up, including that 4.6 last night that came in uh, right around the Mendocino Triple Point Junction area. A couple... Uh, further quakes following that but uh, man there's definitely been a lot more and uh, they're probably a little bit more situated around this area here uh, where um, the uh, petrolia station sits the seismograph station sits right around here and the readings on that graph were pretty distinct and localized so that leads me to believe that it's uh, further activity inland and not out here uh, in the uh, pacific ocean on the uh, uh, where the uh, 4.6 hit so uh, it is what it is. We'll continue to watch this movement, and uh, I still think we're looking at some further activity here along the West Coast. We have been seeing some further movement and uptick in the Big Island as well. Southeast flank ramping up overnight, including uh, within the last hour or so. Uh, some further movement, uh, mostly confined to up here in the northern part of the swarm. Uh, still looking at some deep movement, though, 34 to 31 kilometers for that activity. And uh, a little oddball earthquake way up north here. 1.8 this one pretty shallow so we have seen some movement around hawaii in the last week of uh just a little sporadic spread out movement normally uh it's confined here to the southeast flank or uh, roughly around the uh, mona mona loa area or kilauea but uh we've seen some movement all around here you can see it on the map and most of it is pretty deep activity kicking up so a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on uh, below the big island uh, look at here, look at this area. Once again, super duper quiet, folks. This kind of leads me to believe that we're going to see something. Um, there, there's two things that we could see. Definitely a mega quake potential over here along the Japan region, possibly up around this area where we've seen the swarming movement in the last couple days. It's just been all too quiet within these couple sections here. And uh, Or the other alternative, I believe the West Coast uh, or North American plate up here, uh, Pacific North American Pacific Plate, North American Plate interaction here along the West Coast. That's uh, It's got some good potential as well. We've seen a little bit of movement in the uh, Middle America Trench with a 6.1 in the Nicaragua area earlier this morning. Not too earlier, uh, just a few hours ago. Uh, originally came in as a 6.2. Uh, looks like it was downgraded to a 6.1. 21.6 kilometers here into the uh, uh, Middle America Trench is north of Costa Rica. And, of course, this area does get some rather large earthquakes as well. This was felt uh, in a broad area. It looks like quite a few folks did report feeling it. Uh, on the map here, you can see that uh, did you feel it responses. Just some light to potentially moderate shaking here closer to the epicenter. Uh, but historically, activity does ramp up um, in the larger scale department with these larger earthquakes in the middle America trench. It's definitely a, a good... Uh, accumulated accumulator of some stress in this subduction zone when it comes to the plate dynamics down there uh, a little bit further south haven't seen too much uptick in the south america region just kind of at a standstill 
a couple smaller quakes into the Perucelli area, uh, Perucelli Trench, I should say. Uh, but also overnight, we did see a little bit of movement further down south into the uh, South Sandwich Trench area, down here where this blue circle is, a 5.3 at uh, 78 kilometers into this little subduction zone, this little trench. Uh, of course, where they had that eight-pointer last year. Still seeing some activity ramping up here uh, in the South Atlantic Ocean areas to the west, uh, or at least east of here, look pretty uh, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, one 4.3 in Nepal earlier, a couple hours ago. But overall, things just kind of kind of uh, coming to a halt here in this region. Looking at the Solomon Islands, a couple fours kicking up here. Some deep movement once again in the Fiji Islands area and a 5.0 along the Kermadec Trench. But inland, or uh, not inland, but uh, uh, before the trench, if you look at the uh, shallow, uh, the depth of this earthquake, it's pretty shallow, 10 kilometers. So a little bit of movement uh, prior to even, uh, even to the prior to the subduction zone. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go ahead and check out the movement into the California West Coast region. Um, further down south, swarm of activity still continuing in the Tonopah area, Mina, Nevada area, and also around the Long Valley Super Volcano as well, just south of there into the uh, uh, Tom's Place area, south of Mammoth Lakes. Some further movement kicking up here with some shallow earthquake activity and also uh, where this earthquake struck here yesterday, 4.8, we're still seeing some aftershock sequences, but a little bit further east and uh, just kind of seeing this uh, outside movement, if you will, uh, indicator of further pressure in, regionally in this region. Regionally in this region, if that makes sense. There we go. Uh, Ridgecrest area still seeing some activity and also up here around the Coso Junction, Coso Volcanic Range, uh, looking at some further activity as well. Uh, the southern part of the uh, state down here, a little bit of activity, but not as significant as the area north of the Garlock Fault structure. This leads me to believe that this plays a major part in uh, accumulated stress. Uh, we always see a lot of activity ramp up down here in the south and then activity up here north to be kind of uh, on a little on the quiet side and then vice versa. Like today, uh, movement up to the north is pretty, uh, pretty active and not so much down here south of the Garlock Fault structure. So it's just kind of a kind of a major player in the uh, um, plate dynamics down here when it comes to the uh, spreading out of the pressure and the um, transfer of pressure in this region. Activity up and down the San Andreas Fault here through the uh, Calaveras Fault and the, uh, what's the other one we got up here, the Hayward? Hayward Fault system. Seeing a little bit of microquakes kicking up around the Bay Area southward into the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. And uh, just kind of watching the, the entire West Coast right now. Movement up to the north, though, Washington, Oregon, pretty quiet, just kind of centralized and focused on uh, pretty much the Garlock Fault structure northward into this area, if you will. Uh, Utah kicking up a little bit, uh, not as significant. Some microquakes, uh, excuse me, throughout the Utah area. And also some activity up in Yellowstone finally being reported, but not as many as uh, that's listed here on the seismograph stations. Check that out. There's the 6.1 that occurred down there in the Middle America Trench earlier this morning, showing up on these seismographs. Looking at these seismographs locally, still seeing some microquakes here in these spikes indicated here on the seismograph. Those are localized earthquakes over the last couple hours. Not a whole lot, but uh, definitely overnight we still continue, uh, continue to see that movement in the northwestern part of the plate. Loss of data down here in the Little West Thumb area. Um, which is okay because we do have a couple other localized stations here that we can monitor uh, when it comes to looking at the activity. A couple of small microquakes down there as well. But uh, overall, looks looks as though it hasn't completely stopped. It looks as though things kind of calming down a little bit in the Yellowstone area uh, when it comes to the uh, earthquake activity. Uh, what else we got here into the... Go ahead and check out the uh, Earthquakes Canada map, see what's going on here on their report. Uh, a little bit of movement up here over the last day, up along the, uh, kind of towards the Gulf of Alaska. You can see that uh, earthquake up here on the map. Latest quake is going to be in this purple circle. Looks like a, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more here. 
2.5 earthquake. Camp, uh, what do we got? Camp Bell River, BC area. Small little quake, and then uh, this movement up here into the Gulf is a uh, looks a little bit larger, 3.3. That one occurring uh, late last night. It looks like I don't think the USGS picked that one up. Kind of uh, in a odd area. Definitely not. So just gonna keep an eye on things here today, folks. Uh, see how it goes. I mean, a lot of uh, you know, sometimes these quiet spells here can be pretty troublesome and, and worrisome, uh, if you will, just because of the uh, the high potential of accumulated stress here in the subduction zones and lack of activity. We've seen a lot of deeper movement over here to the west, uh, indicating down dip pressure and, and um, further strain on these subduction zones uh, over the last uh, couple months or so with lack of release of pressure at the subduction lock zones. Uh, just kind of got me a little worried here but then again this has been our watch area for quite some time and I think there's a good uh, there's a reason why and we'll probably find out here soon enough uh, what else we have not a whole lot going on else on the map folks besides uh, the quietness over here and the activity ramping up along the west coast uh, remember the uh, there's always earthquake activity around the globe at any given time and uh, of course a lot of it uh, not being reported on the USGS that's kind of why I like to run these live seismographs for uh, uh, just a confirmation of earthquake activity uh, which is definitely occurring in the Northern California area but I I don't know why the USGS is not uh, reporting it even though it's microquakes it should show up on the uh, on the all magnitudes map it just it, it doesn't so I'm not for sure why Let's see if the, I uh, kind of wanted to check the Caltech website and see if these guys are uh, uh, doing anything different with their reporting. Recent earthquakes, here we go. See, it's even kind of hard to tell on this map. Let's see if we can zoom in and get uh, details. See, they're not even reporting anything. Uh, same as the USGS. But uh, that's okay. That's all right. We're watching the activity, so it's still active, folks. That's why the earthquake watch will remain here along the west coast uh, with the uh, movement down south in the Middle America Trench, the North American Plate up here. Still a lot of uh, adjustment to be made here pretty soon. <clears throat> all right, guys. We will chat you a little bit later. Stay safe out there. And, uh, of course, Hawaii down there. Station in Hawaii kind of kicking up as well. Been watching that movement all morning long. That's on around the uh, southeast flank area. Localized earthquake. Not exactly uh, a big one. Probably under a 2.0, but uh, definitely uh, uh, kicking up there on the big island as well. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on this evening for a complete update. Have a good day.